Hey YouTubers, my name is Amber. I hope you're enjoying your day and welcome to my first update with my Finish 6 by Christmas items. Before we get started, I have to give a shout out to a lovely, lovely YouTuber named Miranda Pierce. You guys need to check her out and she has access to some really um, neat products from Korea. So she's been doing a Pan That Palette Challenge with an Estee Lauder palette. She project pans, so go check her out. Um, but I have been so inspired by you, girl. She talked about rocking a red lipstick, you know, uh, years ago, and, and I was thinking about it, and I was like, back when I was in college, I used to rock a red lip every day, regardless of what I was wearing. So I totally thought about you this morning um, because I pulled out red lipstick and red gloss and I had to rock them because I'm like I haven't worn a red lipstick in a while so it's high time I brought it out again so the combo I'm wearing today in case you want to shop your stash and rock a red lip is um, this was a limited edition drugstore lipstick but pull out a red shade and you're good to go this is the Revlon super lustrous lipstick in the shade Fifth Avenue red I happen to find it at Walgreens several months back and I was so thrilled because this particular shade of red is my holy grail of reds it's blue red where it makes my teeth look really white but brick red where it's not like over the top can't wear it every day I just it's so hard to describe a perfect red I mean once you start wearing red lipstick and you find your holy grail shade it seems like every time you find the perfect one they discontinue it so been on the hunt for this shade for years so i finally got it and now i'm going to be rocking it because actually i i, I was a little bit worried to be over the top with the gunmetal eye but kind of digging it so you'll be seeing some red lips a little more often from me and then um i topped it with the revlon super lustrous gloss in the um shade candy or no fatal apple so you can find this at the drugstore beautiful pop it in the center of my lips to make my lips look a little bit fuller and yeah good to go so Miranda thank you that was just one of those whim inspiring moments shopping my stash so love it love it rock your dark lipstick too girl all right so now that we're getting into the finish six by Christmas items I'm going to go in the order that I put them on my face the first one being the Too Faced shadow insurance I'm still working on it I'm honestly thinking I'm probably gonna be done with this by next month's update because there's a lot of air in this tube I mean I have to squeeze it pretty far and I'm starting to have to bend um, the cap down to get product out of it but something about these Too Faced shadow insurance tubes you think you're at the end and you feel like you're at the end but then you have like another three weeks left in the tube I don't know it's like magic I, I don't even know how it happens so that's where I am with the Too Faced shadow insurance then something with more concrete progress is my um, Stila eyeshadow in the shade desert I use this to transition all in my crease area for my hooded eyes so that my crease colors aren't quite so over the top um, I had hit pan when I put this into my finish six by Christmas challenge um, so I mean it's going fairly fast because once you hit pan you'll notice very very steady progress and when I finish this it makes me really excited because this is my first Stila shadow to ever finish so very very thrilled to keep going with this and, and to continue incorporating Stila shadows into my looks in the future because um, the brand was something that kind of had to grow on me because these shadows are really buttery to the point of having a lot of fallout now that I've been working with the shade for months and months and months on end I've really grown to love their matte formulas then that being said let's continue on with my next eyeshadow that I've been working on and that is my highlighting shade and in the buff I really wanted to incorporate a matte white highlight because if you're new to watching my videos I've been panning my Urban Decay Naked palette and when I ran out of the colors Virgin and Sin, I really wanted to start incorporating a matte highlight because come January of 2015, I will start painting the Lorac Pro palette. So I wanted to be comfortable with matte highlights before, um, you know, just trekking through that next palette. So 
Here's where I am and in the buff. I had not hit pan when I started this challenge. I use it every day. I highlight the inner portion of my eye, my brow bone, and I also use this on a Real Techniques contouring brush to highlight my face. I absolutely love the subtlety of it, and it's helping me get through the shadow a little bit faster. I mean, you can see how large the pan of this is. So um, if you're wanting to pan things a little more quickly out of your collection, use these like really light shades as highlighters beautiful you get great payoff and then it moves those products out a little bit faster and then these two shadows aren't in my finish six by christmas but i'll go on and show you it is um the shade like a virgin over here i've been using that to fill in my brows um and now that i hit pan it's going to go relatively quickly so pretty excited about that and then I've also been working on this matte black down in the corner called Stiletto. I use that to set my matte black track fluid line because with my hooded eyes, my liners tend to travel um, when they're not set. So really been great. I was using Creep for my naked palette, but obviously it's done. So Stiletto's been fabulous. <clears throat> and then moving into another eye product, here is my MAC Black Track Fluid Line. Absolutely love this product, but have to admit it is kind of fun to watch it whittle down and move out of my collection. So there's where I am. I can honestly say, I mean, I noticed the progress without even having to go back and watch my old videos. So um, I know that this is probably, I don't want to speak too soon because I thought I would finish my Maybelline color tattoo and barely branded and I'm still working on it. So I don't want to speak too soon and then be working on this for like the next four months. So really hoping this will be done fairly soon, but that's where I am with black track. And then I've got my two bronzers that I've been working on. I want to move them out of my collection so that I can start, you know, um, incorporating the rest of the bronzers in my collection. The first one being the Bare Minerals Ready Bronzer in the color of the Skinny Dip. I use this for an all over glow in a three shape on the perimeter of my face so that my uh, glasses don't take over the focus. Um, it's been beautiful and I know that this has made a ton of progress. I don't even expect this to last through the end of October. So maybe we'll see this in my empties videos. And when I apply this, I use a big fluffy brush from the um, Real Techniques line of powder brushes and it's been phenomenal i've really really enjoyed using this and then my um sixth product for finish six by christmas is my sample of the Too faced chocolate soleil i have never had to buy a full size of this bronzer this is my third sample to go through and i finally hit pan on it so that's where i am and i'm confident knowing that if i bought a full size of this bronzer i will use it so great product i highly suggest you check it out if you want a stronger matte contour i use this on my cheeks my temples the sides of my nose and under my chin and it has been absolutely phenomenal and yeah it smells like chocolate so that's pretty awesome too so that is where i am and i wish you the best of luck as you continue to work on your finished six by christmas items have a fantastic day and be on the lookout because i have lots of videos coming um, in particular, I have a seasonal vanity tour. I uploaded my um, Pan That Palette update yesterday, and I have several more Get Ready With Me looks coming, so lots. It's just trying to organize my chaotic life and have time to film and time to swim with my family. You know how it goes. I know you're crazy busy too. So that being said, enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.